da 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 Welcome back, my friend. This is BJJ Brick Quick. My name is Byron, and this is your quick jujitsu podcast. This week we're talking about is Brazilian jiu-jitsu good for you? I know it's good for me. It's had so many positive impacts on my life. It'd be difficult to count them. And it would be, I, I'm, no doubt I would leave some out. But is it good for you? I want you to think about this one. Think about it with your mind. <laughs> jiu-jitsu helps keep your mind sharp. You, you see those studies like, uh, you know, you should do a crossword every day or a Sudoku puzzle. And some people do those. And they enjoy those. I don't. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> They're not my thing. I don't, I don't think that's fun. So what can my mind do? To stay active and busy and, and healthy? How about learning something basically every time I go to jiu-jitsu? I went to jiu-jitsu today, and I learned at least two things. I've been training for 20 years. I'm a black belt. Walk into one random class, 11 a.m., and learn two things. What are you learning in your class? Maybe you know it already. I guarantee that's not true. The act of learning is healthy for your mind. So I learned, I learned two things today. I, had exp- I would say I had exposure to them. I'm definitely not good at those two things yet. And I may never be. And that's fine. <laughs> but I had, I had exposure. So I know people are going to attempt these things on me, and they probably have already. And I'm going to know a little bit more how to deal with that. If I, if I wanted to work on these items more, I would have a certain level of mastery of those items. And then if they become one of my best techniques, that elevates it up. Right now, I'm at the kind of the exposure level. I'm aware of that. I've seen it. I performed it. And that's where I'm at. But this, it's something new. New details. I've had times in my game, in my jiu-jitsu time, <laughs> jiu-jitsu game, I don't know, <laughs> where I didn't learn anything for quite a while. Oh, yeah, like a couple of weeks where you didn't learn. No, I might have covered more than, you know, six months, a year almost with learning basically nothing. How could that happen? I got stuck in, in, in a rut. The problem is with me, the rut was, was pretty good. It, my game was doing pretty good for what I wanted it to do. You know, it wasn't like I was a world champion, but like go to the gym and, and do these things and they work pretty good and go home and come back tomorrow and do it again. Same thing. Same thing. Not progressing in any particular direction. No focus, no plan, <laughs> and not really improving at those techniques. They still work, but quit learning things for a little while. I looked at my overall game recently. I was pretty happy with most big parts of it. I was like, man, I think my biggest weakness is my takedown game. I've got a couple, but... I think they could be better. I just talked last week about the feet to floor series I bought. That's helped a ton. Now I find myself starting as many rounds as I can standing up. I found myself, you know, from, you know, if I, if some of my escapes end up with those both standing up. I'm happy about that. <laughs> another chance to do another takedown. The more time I practice those, the better they're going to get. Always learning, guys. That'll help keep your mind sharp. I think it'll help you off the mats as well. You know, you, you see one challenge, new technique, or, or, or maybe you tap out somebody you've never tapped out before. You, you feel like that hard work makes a difference. The expansion of your game has helped. <laughs> Take that off the mats. You're not stuck where you are. You can always get better. 
Are you learning when you go to class? You should be. Let's, let's say you go to class, you're a blue belt, and it's the most basic armbar imaginable. You've done it a million times. I'm not exaggerating. I told you guys a million times not to exaggerate. But guess what? You get paired up with a new person, and now you're teaching this armbar. You get to learn the skill of teaching. Probably not the best at it, but you do your best. <laughs> and you you don't learn anything about the armbar necessarily, but you learn how to teach a little bit of jiu-jitsu. I think jiu-jitsu can definitely help keep our minds sharp as we challenge our minds and bodies against others who are resisting <laughs> Completely, full you know, full effort resistance against what you're trying to do, and they know what you're trying to do, and it could still work. Guys, if you enjoyed this podcast, go to Patreon, kick in a monthly donation of support. I'd greatly appreciate that. I want you to have a great day, my friend. Stay sweaty.